it is a Friday. Um, I actually, yesterday and the day before, had a couple of orders. I was staying at my boyfriend's house, so I couldn't package them. So I'm gonna do that today. I actually, very, very weirdly, I don't know how this happened. I have actually not sold a Cottagecore mouse pad since I got them. And for some reason, on Wednesday, <laughs> um, I had an order for a Cottagecore mouse pad, and I was like, that's so cool, I sold one, awesome. They never really sell that well. And then like 30 minutes later, there was another one that came in for a Cottagecore mouse pad. So that was insane, that's super cool. Um, and then I just had another one, which is like some uh, black cat keychains and the black cat tote bags. I actually, yesterday night, got, finally got my restock in. So I have a whole, I have like 10 of these new, so I have like 10 of these um, tote bags. I don't know why, every time they send them, they always send them like really, crinkled so it's not great i might have to like hang them up so like the creases can drop out i restocked these because they were running a little bit low and then i have like 102 keychains they're all my cat ones all of them and then i have my space and ocean boba pins i thought this was like everything I needed to restock. But when I was doing my product photos, I think I mentioned it in the last video, I realized I was actually running low on like a few stickers and stuff as well. And I even wanna buy a couple new products. So this wasn't as big as a restock as I expected it to be. I really thought I got a lot more than this. So it was like 250 pound. I did get a lot of keychains and they are my most popular keychains. So I really wanted to stock up well on them, but still, I don't know what happened here. I thought I got a lot more than this. I mean, to be fair, I actually wanted to buy my freebie sticker as well, which I'll be buying from that manufacturer as well. So I'll probably end up just waiting, finishing my freebie sticker and then like buying everything together. I also want to buy my thank you cards. So I'll probably wait until I've done all of that and just buy everything together, do one final big restock, buy a couple of new things as well. It was a couple of designs I want to turn into like keychains and stuff. Speaking of which, I did finish my freebie sticker. You guys, if you didn't see the last video, I was straight struggling quite a bit with it. So I'll show you the freebie sticker. I like it a lot more now. I think it's just really cute. I just put like a little cloud background on it, made it like light, a little bit more interesting. So this is done. I'm gonna do the text. It's not gonna be in my handwriting. Don't worry, I am gonna do the text properly, but I'll probably do it in Photoshop. My thank you card. This is another thing that happened. I actually decided, this is not done by the way. This is, this is something I need to work on. This is just an idea. I kind of want my Abbey Nova logo to be more like a logo since for the past year it has just been in this text um, style and that's it like I kind of want to add like a little shooting star or something and like it kind of comes around and it's like the star is the top of the eye. I kind of just added it here to my thank you card and then yeah so that's thank you card is not done um i still need to like <laughs> fix the text and everything but the the freebie sticker is and i'm gonna work on my logo as well just completely rebranding for the new year basically <laughs> i need to package my keychains actually because someone ordered two black cat keychains which i just restocked yesterday and i also want to start some new product designs anyway let's go um package those keychains and package those orders first and foremost today because i need to get them shipped out <laughs> i actually don't know if i've got some backing cards it's very already printed out. Kind of nice if I did, but I don't think I do. You wouldn't believe it. I'm actually already running out of ink and paper again for my Epson printer here. Meanwhile, upstairs, my eco tank, Epson eco tank that I like use twice as much as I use that one, is like still completely full. It's insane, honestly. I think this year I might get like an eco tank that I don't convert into a sublimation printer and just use for like regular printing and stuff because the, the ink cartridges for the Epson XP970 I think it is just don't last very long and it's like I do print out like art. if I'm gonna do art prints and stuff for conventions and if I'm gonna do packing cards with the printer it's like I'm gonna need a lot of ink and I'm already running out again. <laughs> Not here in the printer printing. Did it do all five that quickly? It did. It did all five before I even got down here. I think it's because I'm so used. The sublimation printer takes so long. Like, like one piece of paper, one print can take like two minutes or something, which doesn't sound like a lot of time, but when you're waiting for it, it can feel like a long time. I was gonna get some nice footage of it printing off, but it wasn't quick enough, I guess. <laughs> I 
wanted to talk about. Um, another thing that I did this week was I signed up to, not on the high street, not TikTok shop. I feel like when I mentioned it in my 2024 goals video, I mentioned that I got accepted. I actually didn't apply to it. TikTok shop was just like, you wish a thousand followers. Do you want a TikTok shop? And I was like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I know nothing about it. So after doing some research into it, like proper research into TikTok shop and like whether or not I'd want to pursue it as like one of the shops that I want to start this year, I decided that it's probably not going to be for me. It doesn't sound terrible. I think it definitely has its pros and cons, but everything has pros and cons. I'm on Etsy and it has pros and cons. It's everything has a downfall. Um, I've heard the pro of TikTok shop is that people seem to be making a lot of money from TikTok shop. Like it's quite popular. It's a good way to get sales. It's an easy way to get sales. However, I think then TikTok shop isn't that old. It's still I think very much growing from what I've heard from other small businesses so um while it's like apparently making a lot of people a lot of money it's also got a lot of issues with like delivery and stuff apparently the delivery time is like the people like the people you're shipping through your delivery company has to mark it as like in transit within three days of making that order which is kind of crazy um i know like on etsy like my my um estimated shipping time is like one to two days but that just means like printing off the label apparently tiktok shop will also automatically like refund if you've handed it to your delivery company and they haven't marked it as in transit and like the time the time's up basically they'll refund the customer so the customer will get a refund and also get the products which is really bad i've heard a lot of people say while it is really good for like easy money because a lot of people seem to be like really buying on TikTok and stuff right now. It's also not great if you don't have the stock or the funds to be able to deal with issues like that. I've also heard apparently it takes 15 days from after the person gets their order for you to be given the money for it which is a lot um these are all things i definitely think i could like overlook eventually it's just i don't really have the stock or the funds or the time <laughs> to deal with that so i'm not gonna sign up to tiktok shop yet it, i might later on in the year depending on how this year goes um we'll see what happens right now i've decided no but it's definitely something i'd still consider in the future it's not like a hard no it's just something like i just don't think i'm ready to deal with all that yet as a as a small small business <laughs> I don't make that many sales. Um, I can't really deal with like losing money and stuff like that. I also think another thing with TikTok shop is like because it's so like it is still very new. It's a very new thing and you can tell because they're really trying to push it on the platform. Like you don't know what's going to happen with it. Like does anyone remember when Instagram used to like have a shop where they used to like really push like shopping on Instagram and I think YouTube had one at one point as well. Like, and I don't think they really worked out that well. I think it was kind of a dud for both platforms. TikTok shop seems to be working much better than Instagram or YouTube did <laughs> with their shops and stuff. Even so there's still a lot of room for it to screw up and not go well and I don't really want to be on the ship when it sinks or if it sinks so I think what I might do is I might wait I think that they're still growing it they're still working on it so I think my plan anyway is to just sit back and see what happens with it <laughs> see what happens with the platform and if by the end of the year it seems a lot more established and like it's working a lot better and they've sorted things out then maybe I'll apply for it again I just went downstairs, I had lunch and everything, went to check my stock and I went to check my cottagecore mouse pads. I only had one made. I was convinced I had two. I have like five of the pastel gaming or something. Only like one of the cottagecore, I didn't realize that. So now I'm gonna have to make another one. The mouse pads are a little bit hard for me to make because there's such like a large margin for error on them because the mouse mat size are, is ex like exactly the same width as my mini heat press that I have. So it's like, it's quite a large gap for error. However, a few of you guys did tell me like if you just do it half on one side, make sure you get the corners and everything and then just do it on the other, just kind of move it around a little bit so it gets everywhere. Try to work out. So I'm gonna try that. Um, I'm probably gonna take the cottage core mouse mat listing down because it says there's still there's still one left and there isn't and i'm just gonna deactivate it until i get 
more made so i'm not like having to panic make them again so while i'm actually here i might actually make a couple of these like maybe try and make two of them um just so i can see if the whole like pressing it on half and then pressing it on the other half works and then if i have a couple extra in stock after i've done these two orders um i can then um put put the listing back up So I don't know what's going on. I just um, was sitting here waiting for this to print out because they do, like I said before, they do take a while. And uh, let me just show you guys. I won't be able to see it on camera, but there's like a yellow line and it's kind of like going all the way up and I don't, I don't want to use this because that looks like it could cause a lot of trouble. I do make these a bit bigger than the mouse pads um, like that. So I could, potentially cut it off the problem with that is is then it's like how am i supposed to know where like i, I like to leave a bit of bleed so it, it, i know it'll reach the edges of the mouse mat if i cut it off it might not reach the edge of the mouse mat and it might leave like a white line so i'm not gonna chance this one i'm still i'm still learning with sublimation i'm still definitely uh learning and it's still it's still a work in progress I was really panicked. I was too weak to rip two pieces of paper in half. <laughs> that would have been bad. I'm watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I mean, it started printing out at like 17 minutes past one. It's now 21 minutes past one and it's still printing out. So it actually takes more than three minutes. This one's worked though, so we can we can start with this. I am gonna print off one more. The worst part about doing this in my bedroom, it's the only place I can really do it. But the smell of the mouse pads like being sublimated lingers in here for literally days. It's awful. <laughs> Even if I leave my window open for like a whole day, it'll still linger in here. It's disgusting. <laughs> Did I? Oh my God. I didn't turn it over the right way. <laughs> I had it on the wrong way. I had it on the wrong way. Oh, okay. I had it like facing down. <laughs> <laughs> it did actually sublimate onto the mouse mat though. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna put this one to the side. I'm just gonna ignore this one. Okay, so the whole doing it half and then doing it on the other side did work, but I can't sell this one because the back is like melted and it's actually ripped the mouse mat a little bit. So I can't sell this one, but it did work. So at least I know it works now. Try this one more time. Have a look at this. It's still pretty hot, but I'm gonna have a look at it. Oh no, it did it again. I wonder if it's cause it's too, too much heat in the middle. Cause I'm doing it like twice as long. Maybe it's melting the, the mouse pads. Oh gosh. I'm not gonna do the half and half then cause apparently it doesn't work. I mean, I could maybe do it a little bit on either side and take it, maybe not have it on as long. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe I just don't have it on as long on either side. Or maybe do one side, leave it to cool down and do the other so it's not like melting. I don't... I don't think this worked either, to be honest, but we'll... Oh, maybe it did work. Oh, maybe it did work. I think... I'm gonna turn it off now anyway, but... Mm, please have worked. Yes, it did work! Oh, thank God! Okay, so what I did this time around, rather than having it on half, one half, half of it, and then switching it over because it was melting the middle part, what I did was I had it on the, I had it in the middle for a while, um, about fifty seconds each, and then I had it on fifty seconds for this side and fifty seconds for this side, and that has worked beautifully. That actually really, that worked really well actually. I'm pretty damn happy with this. Okay, since that did work, I actually while I'm here, I'm gonna just do one or one more at least i might as well i feel like i finally figured out how to do this now okay so i just did one more i'm gonna just have a little look see if it worked um okay 
I'm gonna turn this off now. No more sublimating today. <laughs> So the first order we have here is going to Vivian and she bought one of my cat tote bags and two, I put them over here, <laughs> uh, two of my black cat keychains and a thank you card. <laughs> These three are like my last three thank you cards. So I think a thank you card, finishing my thank you card is gonna be priority this weekend. And then my little thank you sticker. This one is going to Martha. Thank you for your order, Martha. And the last one is going to River. Thank you very much, River, for your order. And thank you for the rest of you for your orders as well. guys so last night you will have saw me working on my thank you card I honestly it was getting kind of late and I just thought oh, I'm just gonna work on it a little bit before I have dinner and stuff and I actually got a good chunk of it done um I've pretty much like done all the text and stuff I think what I'm gonna do because I did write the text using procreate but I'm not like too happy with it I want to use the font that I use for like my all my brand stuff and you can also like add like shadows and stuff to the text in Photoshop because I'm putting like white text on like a light blue background it won't stand out very well without like the little bit of shadow behind it so I'm gonna hopefully do that today or tomorrow so i think i can get my thank you card done this weekend which is super awesome and that means i can do my restock again my second restock of the year and it's only like the 6th of january i actually just spent this morning buying i'm watching a video <laughs> i didn't realize that was in the background <laughs> i'm watching film theorists Yesterday I realized doing my mouse pads, even though I had a couple of ones that melted, I was thinking about that more actually, and I was like, why didn't I think of that was the reason it was melting? <laughs> so stupid. It just took me like a couple of tries to realize, oh, it's way too hot, like I'm leaving it on for way too long. <laughs> of course that's why. But once I finally figured it out, the mouse mats were coming out really well, like really vibrant, really lovely. There wasn't any like issues with the corners like I used to have. I used one of the mouse mats at home, but that didn't go very well. And as you can see, like it was like missing corners and stuff. I honestly didn't like doing mouse mats because they seemed so hard to get right. There was such like a big margin for error and I didn't like it. Now I've kind of figured it out with my small easy heat press. I feel like I can do more mouse pads. So I actually just bought more mouse pa pads this morning. I bought some more square ones and I bought some more round ones. So they will be going back on my shop and I think I might even try to do some new designs. I feel like, I feel like I'm already new. <laughs> I need to slow down. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do design coasters and mouse pads and skinny tumblers. It's like, okay, let's prioritize. What do we want to do first? I really would like to do the coasters first. I already have some mouse mats. Don't need any more right now. Skinny tumblers are probably also a little bit of a priority, but I could also just put the ones I've already got like design wise on my shop and just continue to add throughout the year. But I do want to try and get some designs done today. Anyway, that's my day today. It's gonna be a big artsy kind of day. I also do need to get those um, photos edited from my last photo shoot that I did because I haven't done that yet and that's gonna really help my marketing online. I will say that is like one thing. Oh God, it's really dark. <laughs> That's one thing I'm really struggling with um, so far this year is like I am being more patient but I'm trying to slow down as well and like I just feel like I'm still in the mindset where it's like 
I want to do all of these products and I want to get them all out this month and I want to do all these designs today and it's like it's so hard like it's not even like oh I need to rush them and get them out so I can grow my business it's just like I'm excited for them so I want to like have them on my shop and I want to get them up and get them out there and see how well they do and it's like I want to do all these things now today and it's like I'm really trying to stop that because it's just not good because it's like I know I'm not going to I know I'm not gonna get all these stuff done this month it's just impossible i can't do all the coasters that i want to do and planner pads and tote bags and skinny tumblers this month there's only so many days in a month and i have other things i need to do as well so it's it's pretty it's like i'm setting myself up for failure and i really need to stop doing that because i know if i don't calm down and just slow down and say okay we're not going to do all these things this month we're going to just focus on it a selected few of them if I don't do that it's gonna get to the end of January and I'm going to be really upset that I didn't get all these things done like I said I would and it's just it sucks but it's like this February and then there's March and April and May and all the other months in the air like, I don't need to get them done today <laughs> uh, I am pretty excited to have a day where I just kind of draw not necessarily like logos and thank you cards like they've been pretty fun to work on but I'm excited to actually just draw so it's an artsy day today after like three months of not drawing in 2023 but at the end of 2023 it's been so so good to finally get back into drawing and I'm really enjoying drawing on the iPad I think it's actually really it feels a little better that I'm still getting used to procreate it's <laughs> I feel like it's still a little awkward for me right now because I'm still trying to figure out how to use the program and get around issues that I'm coming across it's okay I'm slowly slowly getting used to it and I'm enjoying drawing again that's the main thing I'm really really enjoying drawing again <laughs> I did ask on Instagram, uh, I got a few answers, but I just wanted to ask on YouTube as well. What do you guys want to see from me this year? I do have a couple of like ideas for vlogs and stuff I can do, um, but is there any videos you want to see from me this year? Like anything about having or growing a small business that you want to see or want me to talk about? I did ask on Instagram and I had a few replies. Um, a few of you guys said the conventions that I want to do this year, which of course I'm going to be filming. You can definitely expect convention vlog in March. A couple of you guys mentioned also like 24 hour challenges or like art challenges as well which I might do. I might do uh, later in the year like some artsy design challenges for my small business like designing products. I definitely want to do more art this year so you can definitely expect more art in my vlogs now. So leave a comment if you have any ideas or suggestions for me and let's now get on with some designs shall we? I'm doing right now I'm actually um because I have these are all the designs I think I showed you guys already but these are all the designs I'm planning to do I'm still adding to this this is like my con page this is just like all this is like restock uh, I added a key at the top so the yellow is January it looks like a lot but these are all restocks so I already have the designs for these I just want to buy them in in January this is my thank you card these ones are just my game uh, gaming and lemonade uh tumblers I just want to post them online so that's something else um, I'm gonna do this month the rest are um, designs, but there's only like one, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's like nine designs. <laughs> a lot of them are pretty like small designs, though. It's just like keychains and stuff. They're not gonna be like massive, massive designs. And the blue is February. Uh, I'm only gonna do January and February for now because that's the only time frame I've got for my convention. And a lot of these are gonna probably be sold at my convention as well. So. I'm just trying to get it all figured out and sorted and written down so it's out of my head and on paper because I always find when it's on paper I work a little bit better. A lot of these as well are going to be like, I'm going to do a design but they're going to be like a coaster and a cup or a, co a coaster and a keychain so it's really going to be like one design but two products. It's so hard to think of things to make con for conventions because I'm not used to like making things for conventions. I used to draw fan art quite a lot 
mostly when I draw for myself now, it's like my own characters and I like world building and stuff. Like I like making my own stuff. So I'm really struggling to think of ideas to make for like conventions and stuff. Despite the fact that I've seen so many like animes and I've, I've seen like so many Jujo Ghibli movies and stuff. Like I don't know, I'm just really struggling. I don't really want to draw anything that's too mainstream as well. Another issue is figuring out what I like, not only what characters do I want to draw and um, how I'm going to draw them, but also what form do I want them to take? Do I want them to be cups, glass coasters, skinny tumblers, stickers, keychains, art prints? Like I just, <laughs> there's so much to think of and I'm just not really sure. Like this is my first time ever doing like convention prep, I guess, or like making anything for a convention. So it is a small convention, so I don't think I should really go like too crazy with it. I think I should just get a couple of things for now. Hopefully I'll do some bigger ones throughout the year. I'm kind of glad I'm starting with a small one though because I feel like I would have really freaked out if this was like a really big one coming up. It's just a one day event. It's a pretty small event. Profit. I mean, I think my stuff fits in with that kind of crowd anyway, like my cutesy little keychains and everything. So it's just, I just want a couple of things, but I don't, I just don't know <laughs> what I want. <laughs> So I just spent like a not okay-ish amount of time <laughs> trying to like figure out some designs to do. Nothing's really coming to me. I've had a couple of ideas. I just wanted some like on my list that I could like work towards, but maybe I'll just leave it like that for now and we'll see if anything else comes to mind. I feel like I've got a lot of things that are like, like a lot of things like that feel quite samey. Like I haven't really thought of any Tumblr designs or mug designs that I can really do. So I don't know, maybe I'll just add more as the month goes on because right now I just can't really think of anything. I'm just not used to doing convention prep. Like it's, <laughs> I'm not used to doing these kinds of designs. So nothing's really coming to me. So I actually just had an order come through. Um, so I'm gonna do that first before lunch. I'm gonna have lunch and then I'm gonna start my designs. I'm gonna do the order first though. This one is going out to Sarah. So thank you very much, Sarah. She bought a notepad and a whole bunch of stickers, which I love to see. Okay, so she bought a teddy bear cafe notepad. Uh, she bought a growing together sticker. I brought back my little compostable bags for stickers because I've noticed now that I've got like bigger products that need to be in like bigger boxes and stuff, I don't really want to like, leave stickers just in there just to like fly around. So I've started using these compostable bags again so I can just put all the stickers in together and my thank you card also fits in there. So if it's like a particularly big box, like if someone buys like three mugs and then wants some stickers as well, I put my thank you card in there and it's just all nicely neatly put together. So she bought a holographic a boba sticker. I need, I'm definitely gonna do more holographic stickers this year. I love them, but you guys also seem to love them. So I'll definitely bu be buying more of those this year. She got a ghost cat sticker. I honestly did not expect my ghost cats, my ghost cats to do as well as what they are. You guys love them. She bought an ocean boba sticker as well. So both designs for the boba stickers. A cat grim reaper sticker, here he is. That's it for the die cut stickers and she also got, she also got a cat uh, sticker sheet. So a lot, a lot of stickers. Thank you so much. I just packed that order and I just went on Etsy and I had a little quick look because I knew I was approaching 300 sales. I am five sales away from 300 sales. <laughs> That's awesome. 300 sales, wow. I think this time last year I had like maybe like 30 sales. Oh wow, <laughs> that's so cool. about an hour and 
I finished my soot sprite design. Um, <laughs> I was gonna kind of like clean it up a little bit because I was using a bit of a jaggedy sketch pen when I was drawing and I was like, mm, it kind of like could use some filling in but I think it works really well with the design. Like I really, really like it. I like how it's a bit looser and it's a bit sketchier because they're so sprites. So let me just show you. Here it is. I made it into kind of like a pattern design. Um, I feel like I could use this, oh, I feel like this guy might need to be moved up a little bit, but I, I kind of thought it would be really nice as like a coaster design. I could maybe use it for other things. It could maybe even be a, tumblr design or something as well so i'm really happy with this i actually really like it if you guys remember last year i actually did a soot sprite design i think it was in my 24 hour design challenge video or maybe my 48 hour i can't remember but i did it in one of my design challenge videos and i hated that design i just couldn't get on board with it and now i feel like i've now i've tried again i really like it i also in the background just to make it not as boring did like little shadow like I, I did the little stars they're holding but I just kind of made it into like a background pattern so it adds a little something something I probably will come back to it at a later point and just look at it again make sure I'm happy with it because it felt like it it went too well too quickly <laughs> which sometimes does happen but I always just like to make sure I always like to come back to my designs and just double check that I'm happy with them and that there's no mistakes or anything so very happy with my progress on that end and I needed to put my battery on charge so I didn't show this but it was literally like a five minute sketch <laughs> not even that it was like a minute I literally just doodled this onto a page and I really like it <laughs> is a frog honestly I just love his shape and stuff as well it just I just felt like I was drawing and it was it's just working out today you know when you're drawing and it's just all working out everything seems to be going pretty well I mean I, the lily pad could be a bit rounder but I really like him <laughs> I think he'd make a really cute coaster and stuff as well now it's almost dinner time as you saw I finished those designs I actually <laughs> I filmed um, that glass clip you saw with the frog design didn't have any shading or anything on I have shaded the frog now but my iPad's on charge so I can't show you I feel like it looks better without shading though so I might have to go back and fix that but overall I feel like those two designs are pretty much done I'm super happy with how that went <laughs> like that's like the smoothest a drawing session has gone for me in like so long now I am actually just going through all of my product photos one thing I just wanted to mention for all of my small businesses that struggle to take product photos i feel like these product photos honestly they're so good i feel like they don't really need that much editing which is insane because i have always had to really heavily edit my photos because they've always been really dark or just horrible and like in some parts they've been overexposed and then other parts they've been really dark so one thing if you do product photos and you struggle with them I have struggled with product photos as well for a whole year now. I have been doing product photos since like end of 2022 now and I've always, always struggled with them. It's only been the last month where I've really seen an improvement. Up until last month, I was actually using a piece of cardboard. I feel like I finally realized those materials are not good for product photos because the cardboard seems to bounce light back up like if i have a light shining down it just seems to catch the light and it, it ends up being really shiny on the cardboard i now use like this fabric in the background um not only does the pattern make the product photo look more interesting it looks like just it, rather than having a plain blue background having like the blue and the white and everything looks so much better i also feel like now that i'm using fabric it's really really changed for the better the lighting in my photos. I feel like it doesn't reflect the lighting as much. It kind of catches the lighting and I feel like because the lighting isn't like reflecting off of it and it's not like overexposed in some areas and 
stock in others it's like it's really really changed it and i don't i can't think of anything else that has changed my product photos other than the, this fabric I, for your product photos i really really recommend fabric because this this fabric right here has changed my product photos so much. Oh, check this out. Look at how dull it is. Look, it's like kind of like overexposed here. And it's like, it's like, it's like overexposed, but dark at the same time. It looks crazy considering I know I edited this photo where I, I turned the shadows down and everything. So it'd be more even, but it just never seemed to work out. Like, look, it's like, it's brighter up here and then darker down here. It's the cardboard is reflecting the light back and it's kind of making the product photo look really shiny as well now compare it to this <laughs> you can see this is unedited the lighting is so even on it it looks so much better it like the gingham looks better as well like if i just go and i turn the brightness up a little bit not too much just a little bit and then i'll turn the shadows down a little bit like i usually do as well like that in comparison to that <laughs> i'm sorry but the difference even just like making it look more interesting because there's a pattern behind it now i'm sorry but they look so much better oh my gosh and i'm sharing this because i wish someone had told me this a year ago i probably my my photos my listings on etsy might have actually done a lot better in 2023 if i had better photos because i wasn't using cardboard that was reflecting light back into the camera so i'm super super happy with how they turned out hello guys it's sunday and it's blurry <laughs> It's half 11 and I just basically woke up this morning, had a shower, got ready and I've been slowly working on my product photos, just getting them edited. Luckily it's been going pretty quickly because they haven't needed a lot of editing so <laughs> that's really awesome. That is honestly all I'll be doing today because Sundays is the day I spend with my family. I go and have uh, dinner with them so... <laughs> That is it for this vlog. If you guys wanna check out my last vlog where I decided to start fresh with my business for 2024, you can check out that video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.